Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a uh, another episode of MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark, and today we're gonna see if them Paul Brown lures actually catch fish. I've never caught one before with it, so we're gonna get out there on the water and uh, try and do something on this very windy day. Good thing the uh, lures don't have to play around in the wind, right? My arch nemesis, the sand, putting my truck in four wheel drive. I got a 20 year old truck. I've had issues with the transfer case in the past and uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed. So check this out, people. Uh, I bought this thing right here to fly, but I never ever fly it because it's always too windy. Today, we're gonna put it through the test and if I lose it, I lose it, I don't care. That's a, that's a thousand dollar investment. But we're, we're going to learn to boil a chicken first, so um, we'll fly it, we're going to make it earn its keep, but we're going to do it over land. So if it falls out of the sky, then I ain't got to worry about it. So let's get this thing set up. I got $100 it fails. <clears throat> we'll see. I'll keep it low to the ground. We're going to go up, take off, please don't crash. All right. Uh. And there we go. No point has been updated. Please check it on the map. That's as far as I'm going to go up in the air and let's go see. We just got to make sure we're we're not above the water because if we lose this drone, I'm going to be heartbroken. The water is clear. It's super clear. Galveston was really clear when I went there. Okay, so I hooked myself the last time I was out, and it wasn't fun. That's because this is way too close. We're gonna scoot it back. All right, my peeps, we're ready to go. Here's the starting lineup, and it shouldn't be any surprise for those of y'all that follow the channel because I'm lazy and I don't retie. But that right there is the Shimmer Shad. It's called a Switchback from BioBait. That is a go tube. It's the smallest one that they have on the BioBait website. There's the star of the show right there, the Paul Brown. Let's grab the star of the show, Paul Brown. Bro, I have never ever caught a fish with one of these. We've got a windblown point right here, perfect spot. Actually, I'm in 1.5 feet of water. I'm not gonna get anything to work right here. Let's see if we can go do the James Brown somewhere. We gotta find some deep water. I don't really like the action of this lure. It doesn't really got much, so I don't understand what the fuss is about. If anything, the only thing this fella is catching is grass, and it ain't the happy kind of grass either. Look at that. Done, the Paul Brown has caught me. Actually, I didn't even pay, oh, got one. Yeah, yeah. You ever go water skiing? What is that? Dude, you're not gonna believe this. I got a croaker on a Paul Brown. Oh my gosh. Y'all saw it first, folks. Now we can go to something else if we want. We got a croaker on a Paul Brown lure. Whoa, whoa bro, that's treble hooks, man. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. Mr. Croker, well, I had to take a picture, show what Paul Brown catches. <laughs> Here's the thumbnail right there. Bloop. So long, player. That's it. I've accomplished the mission. I caught a fish with the Paul Brown, but we can't end it like that. We got to catch us something bigger, huh? Okay. I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to lightly twitch this lure. And then we'll see if the subtle movements trigger the bite. Just like that. Goodness gracious. You switch it up and you catch a fish. Woo! I can't let Nick have all the fun, can I? Let's see. What do we got? 
It feels like a flounder, bro, on a Paul Brown. Oh my gosh, it is a flounder. It's a keeper? It looks like a keeper. I don't know. I catch keepers, Nick. Dude, that's a keeper, bro. Hell yeah, boy. There we Damn, go. Nice double up. Oh, you three years back? Yeah, sorry. Nick, you made me waste my <laughs> scream on the double up. <laughs> so here we go. I was going to curse this lure. Like, seriously? I was like, man, this thing does not work. Does not work. Well, I came out here with the like idea to catch trout because that's what this thing is known for but i'll take a flounder yeah he's a game warden money maker look at that 14 inches everyone put that so y'all can see you do not keep these fellas trust me i've never been sighted but these guys shrink in captivity all right player you've been a good sport it is time for you to go home you get a little bit more growing up to do I'm just gonna watch. I, I, I don't know what it is about it, but I thoroughly enjoy just watching these guys take off. And there he goes. He's getting that water underneath him. When are you gonna do it? It's like, jump, take the plunge. There he goes. Consist of, and well, there was no fireworks. Let's just say that. We did catch a, uh, a keeper fish. That's three days in a row that I've caught keeper fish, man. I'm so happy. <laughs> Everyone, we gotta feel sorry for the <laughs> You got a little cricket playing the, the violin. <laughs> All right, we're gonna reach behind us and grab a fluke style lure that has been killing it. This dude's a crusher. He's the crusher of fish dreams. Pop, pop, let it sink. Pop pop I'm just gonna let this guy sink all the way to the bottom let a hard head sniff him out and then catch a fish that way that hot oh got him bro that's a redfish that is a redfish Oh, that's a flounder. What is this dude? He's taking off like a red. This dude just came. He sought it out. I was like leaving it at the bottom. I don't know. We're going to have to go to instant replay to see what happened. But uh, second cast with this lure and we got another flounder. Look at that. Nice. The freaking bio bait paddle. Not in the pet Man, I'm lost. So the switchback. Luke style lure catches an undersized flatty. Let's see if he's a keeper or not. I'm just curious. No, he's not. He's 13 and a half. Got a little juvenile. You get out of jail free card. Go on. But that dude chased it down, I think. He chased it down or he smelt it. One or the other. I think that's two flounder for me. Two flounder, one keeper trout, and a croaker. All we need is uh, a redfish, a keeper red, and I got a, a slam. But you know, that never ever happens for me. Every time I get close to a slam, it's like uh, my heart gets just broken. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another update. Nick has brought us to a wonderful fishless marsh. My loins are killing me. Nick owes me lunch today. What do y'all think? What do y'all say? Yay, he owes me lunch. Nay, I got to earn my keep. I got to catch lunch. I won't hold my breath on y'all's answer. I've not seen a up all day, bro. Me neither. Searching for these guys is like searching for the Yeti, man. Yeah, if you told me there was like a majestic fish that was copper in color with a dot on his tail, I'd call you a liar. One of these days, I'm gonna put a stove, little cooking thing on my kayak and we'll see who's gonna get the last laugh. Them little 14 inch flounders, they ain't gonna be so like, uh, they ain't gonna be so happy whenever I do something like that. 
Alrighty, that's going to do it for the day. I sure do thank you all for tagging along. I hope you'll have a great fishing weekend. I'm going to get some R&R &R and uh, get ready for next week's fishing. So until next time, tight lines, y'all.